afternoon. This public meeting of the Audit Risk and Compliance Committee is being held at 30 North 3rd Street, Harrisburg, PA. By participating in this session, you are consenting to the recording, retention, and future viewing of this meeting. Although being live streamed via the internet, this meeting is a live in-person meeting open to the public in accordance with the Sunshine Act. The live streaming of this meeting is presented as a convenience and is not provided as the official means for public attendance. In the event the live stream fails or cannot be transmitted for any reason, the in-person public meeting will continue without interruption. If you're viewing this meeting, you are reminded to turn your microphone off and your speaker off. If not being asked to speak, please proceed with the meeting. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon once again. <clears throat> and I would like to call the meeting of the SERS Audit Risk and Compliance meeting to order. Karen, would you please uh, do a roll call for us? Certainly. Mr. Becker? Here. Treasurer Garrity? I'm here. Uh, Representative Schemmel or designee? Is Ms. Boyle is here. Uh, thank you, Susan. You bet. Uh, Ms. Soderberg? Here. And Secretary Thal? I guess he did not rejoin. Uh, we do yeah. have a quorum with four of the five. Okay, fantastic. So first up on our agenda is the approval of the minutes. So I move to approve the minutes of the February 25th, 2022 <coughs> Audit Risk and Compliance Committee meeting. So may I have a second? Second. Second. Thank you. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, then the motion passes. So next up on our agenda is old business and special presentations, which we have none. So we'll move on to new business, and I'll turn it over to Karen, and she's going to go over the cons consultant evaluation procedures. Um, you can find these materials on 6A in board decks. Thank you. Uh, under tab six is information on SIRS implementation of Funston Advisory Group's recommendation for board committees to evaluate consultants and advisors under their oversight. The recommendation impacts the Audit Risk and Compliance <coughs> Committee in your capacity of overseeing SIRS independent auditors. The requirement is for this evaluation to be implemented in calendar 2023. Currently, the internal audit team takes great steps to monitor the progress of the, in, uh, of the independent audit each year, and we believe our efforts will enable this committee to readily assess how KPMG is performing to the requirements of the statement of work in SIRS contract with them. Under tab 6A-1 in Board Docs is a memo that lists some of the, method, some of the methods on how we monitor KPMG and the annual independent audit. And those methods translate to specific requirements outlined in the contract statement of work that we utilize to develop an evaluation checklist. The last two pages of tab 6A-1 are the draft evaluation checklist that we are recommending the members of this committee will utilize next year to satisfy this new board requirement. The slide in front of you, hopefully there's a slide that, well, maybe not. Uh, there is a slide that just translates some of the information from the memo. And uh, it lists the steps that we are suggesting will accomplish the new board policy. And those steps include the committee's 2023 work plan will be updated for a review of the evaluation checklist at the February meeting. Throughout calendar 2023, internal audit will assess the performance of KPMG and will also survey input from other staff within SERS involved in the independent audit. Internal audit will complete a draft evaluation checklist for the committee's review and acceptance at the December 23 meeting. That's 2023. 
um, after which the evaluation results will be reported to the, uh, to the board by the committee. Also at the December meeting, the committee will have an opportunity to direct any questions you have to KPMG. KPMG will be attending the December meeting. So are there any questions on this overview of the new 2023 requirement or the plan we are recommending to you to accomplish it? All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Karen. So next on our agenda is an executive session. So Joe, do you have a statement for us to go into executive session? Uh, yes, I do, uh, Treasurer Garrity. The Sunshine Act allows non-public sessions to receive and discuss audit reports and to discuss matters that are privileged or confidential and protected by law. The four subject matter items that will be discussed in executive session the results of the 2001 independent audit, the report of the Chief Information Security Officer, the report of the Chief Compliance Officer, who is also a lawyer, uh, whose communications are privileged and confidential, and a review of the due diligence performed by the internal audit staff, all fall within the topics that are permitted under the Sunshine Act to be held in a non-public session. Before we enter into executive session, please give us a minute to make a few technical changes here in the boardroom on your behalf. When we uh, make those changes, we'll make you aware that they, you can proceed with the meeting. As a reminder, this public meeting will resume on this same live stream connection when the executive session is complete. You're done with your box. Okay. Excuse me, I'm going to be done. As a reminder, this meeting is being recorded and is now being live streamed. Please proceed. Uh, before we begin the uh, next agenda items in the public agenda, uh, I need to announce that during the executive session, there was an additional topic that I had not announced beforehand that came up with and was discussed. There was a discussion on the steps that SCRS is taking to uh, have a second confirming and verifying uh, investment performance calculation and check made to help um, verify and make certain that the calculations that we are receiving from our custodian are correct. Uh, that sort of after the fact auditing and calculational uh, discussion is something that I think is appropriate for a non-public session, but I am required to announce it. Thank you. So welcome back. We're now in public session, obviously. We do have one motion from one of the agenda items, and I move that the Audit Risk and Compliance Committee recommend to the State Employees Retirement Board to accept the audited 2021 financial statements with required supplementary information with independent auditor's report for fiscal years ended December 31st, 2021 and 2020 of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania State Employees Retirement System for the Defined Benefit Plan and State Employees Defined Contribution Plan and the audited 2021 financial statements with required supplementary information with independent auditor's report for fiscal years ended December 31st, 2021 and 2020 of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Deferred Compensation Plan as presented by our independent auditors, KPMG LLP. That's a mouthful. So may I have a second? Second. Second. Thank you so much. Karen, would you please do a, a roll call vote for us? Certainly. Mr. Becker? Aye. Treasurer Garrity? Aye. Uh, I don't believe Representative Shem will joined us, uh, and I believe, is it Ms. Boyle on his behalf? Jill. Yes, aye. Thank you. Ms. Soderberg? Aye. And I don't, I don't know if uh, Secretary Thal rejoined us. I don't believe he did. All right, we have, uh, it's a majority, four of the five. Okay, fantastic. So the motion passes. So our last agenda item is member comments. So does anybody have a final question or comment? 
Okay, hearing none, I would like to add one item briefly. And I wanted to mention that Karen and I spoke recently about where we're at in pre preparing for the requirements of Act 128, and that's the SOC risk audit uh, control audits. So we're going to discuss this further at the next meeting, which will be on September 22nd, the exact time we still have to determine. So I want to thank everybody for joining us today, and if there are no remaining comments, I'll move to adjourn the meeting. Hearing no comments, could I have a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.